have always been clear that we will stand with Ukraine for as long as it takes. Leader of the SNP, Stephen Flynn. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, we learned today that the price of milk, cheese and eggs are up 29%. The price of pasta is up 27%. The price of a loaf of bread, 18%. Does the Prime Minister agree that this is no longer just a cost of living crisis? This is a cost of greed crisis. Well, Mr Speaker, it was welcome that inflation has fallen today, but as the Chancellor said, we should not be complacent because there is more work to do. The Honourable Gentleman is right to highlight the impact of food inflation, which is too high, at, at common here in levels that we have seen in other European countries like Sweden and Germany. We are providing significant support to help people with the cost of living, and the Chancellor has met with uh, companies in the supermarket and food supply chain to make sure that they are doing everything they can to bring prices down. Stephen Flynn. Mr Speaker, let's get real because the food inflation remains at a near 45-year high. Now, yesterday the Treasury indicated that the Chancellor stands ready to act, but his actions seem to be predicated on the outcome of a review by the Consumer and Market Authority. So can the Prime Minister perhaps enlighten us? When does he expect that review to conclude? Because working families can't afford to wait much longer. Yeah. Well, Mr. Speaker, honourable gentlemen, will know that the CMA is independent uh, of government, but the Chancellor did meet with them recently to discuss the situation in the grocery industry, and it will be for the CMA to make decisions on that. But uh, we're doing everything we can to help consumers manage the challenges of the cost of living, Mr. Speaker. But if, if the SNP wanted to do their bit, maybe that they could reconsider their deposit return scheme, which has been—it's very clear what people have said. It will. It will. It says, as people have said, it will, reduce, it will reduce choice and increase prices for consumers. Yeah. Andrew Salou. The primary care access.